You're browsing LinkedIn, or maybe the websites of your competitors or industry peers. You've noticed that the cropping on the headshots are quite a bit different. Some are pretty tight, and some are pretty wide, showing maybe even a full-length vertical image as a headshot. So what's the best way to crop your professional image? Thanks for stopping by. I'm Scott Lawrence, a professional headshot and portrait photographer based here in Detroit. I work with countless professionals, just like you. Check out my work at scottlawrencephoto.com. For the best headshot tips and tricks, please subscribe and ring that bell so you'll be notified when new videos are released. So what's the best crop for a headshot? Tight? Wide? Something else? Don't worry, as a headshot specialist, I help clients integrate their professional images into their marketing materials all the time. If this is your first headshot and will be really your go-to image, then I always recommend starting with a nice, tightly cropped headshot. Now, the only exception to this rule would be that if you have um, a specific layout consideration. So maybe it's got a, maybe your image has to fit a specific space on a, on a business card or a print piece that you know you're going to be using. So talk to your graphic designer or web designer, and they'll have a pretty good idea, or maybe somebody in your marketing department. They'll let you know if there are any specifications that you need to follow. So tighter is better, but why? It boils down to function. A tight headshot maximizes the limited space that we have. Most headshots, as you know, are on LinkedIn or your website, maybe a business card. They're pretty small in general use. So we want to make the most use possible of the space or limited pixels that we do have. We do that by showing as much of your face as possible. The focus is on you. It's not on your hair, your clothing, your jewelry. It's all about you. But what if you need to match an existing image that's vertical and not so tightly cropped? Well, there's nothing inherently wrong with a waist up shot. I'm just here to tell you that it's not the most flattering for most body types. You also have to worry a lot more about clothing selection and fit and posing. So tighter's better, but how tight? Don't be afraid to live on the edge and crop that forehead. Yep, all the way through your forehead. It's really actually a pretty modern look. It further emphasizes your eyes and facial features, and really our brains just fill in the missing hair, if you have it. That crop does have to be deliberate though, so you've gotta go all the way in. You can't just take a little shave off the top, because then it's just gonna look sloppy. If you have big hair, showing it all will force a much wider crop, and your face will have much less impact. The only exception to this rule might be as if you're a stylist or you, you do something in your professional life that has to do with or relates to your hair or your hairstyle. So try this at home. Grab your phone, take some selfies, and experiment with a tight crop and a wide crop. See what you like better. You might be surprised at how the crop changes the presence and feel of the image. The cropping tools are of course built into your phone, and they're pretty easy to find on most basic photo editing apps these days. And if you need a little more sophistication, try an app like uh, canva.com, which is pretty good for basic social media layouts and basic social graphics, that sort of thing. So are you ready to go bold and show a tight crop on your LinkedIn profile? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and share it with a friend, maybe somebody that needs a new headshot.